Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. The film opens in Raccoon City in the 80s at the orphanage. Young Claire Redfield wakes up when she spots a mysterious woman, Marina Mazipa, wandering the room where all the other orphans sleep. Claire wakes up her brother Chris, but he tells her to ignore it. Claire walks out of her bed to another room where the woman is. When Claire tries to approach her, she is found by scientist William Birkin, Neil McDonough, and taken back to her room. As she tries to go back to sleep, the woman reappears and grabs Claire's face. 1998, Claire, now played by Kaya Scottelario, wakes up from a nightmare while on a trip with a trucker, Pat Thornton, and his dog back into Raccoon City after she spent time away. The trucker tries to come onto Claire and gets distracted when another woman is walking along the road. The truck strikes the woman, and Claire and the trucker go to check on her. The dog tries to alert them by barking that the woman is getting up, but the two don't notice her walking away. The dog gets out of the truck and begins licking the woman's blood. Claire and the trucker get freaked out when they find that the woman is gone. Claire looks into the woods and sees the woman staring back at her menacingly. Text states that the Umbrella Corporation was the top pharmaceutical company in the world, but they have recently taken their operations out of Raccoon City, with only a few staff workers remaining, as well as those too poor to leave the city. Leon S. Kennedy, a Van Joja, wakes up for a graveyard shift at the police station, with him being a rookie. He goes to a diner, where other Raccoon City officers of the Stars Alpha team, Albert Wesker, Tom Hooper, Joel Valentine, Hannah John Kamen, Brad Vickers, Nathan Dales, and Richard Aiken, Chad Hook, are hanging out. Two other officers, Kevin Dooley, Dylan Taylor, and Enrico Marini, Sammy Azero, taunt Leon before they are called to investigate the Spencer Mansion. The rest of the officers head out, and Leon speaks to the waitress Louise, Jenny Young, since she noticed him looking at Jill, but Louise says Jill has eyes for Wesker. Louise's eye then tears blood, which she tells Leon has been going on for a few weeks. The trucker is seen with his dog, who is drooling excessively, and has his eyes looking glassy. The dog then takes a big bite into the trucker's hand. Claire makes it to the home of Chris, now played by Robbie Amell, who is also a cop, and has been estranged from Claire, after he believes she ran away from the hospital. She breaks into the house, and is confronted by Chris. Claire says she came back, to find a man named Ben Bertolucci, Josh Crudas, who has been in contact with her, and says that Umbrella has been poisoning the city's water supply. Chris dismisses this as just another one of Claire's conspiracy theories and readies himself for work. In the Birkin home, William's daughter Sherry, Holly DeBarros, wakes up screaming. He and his wife Annette, Janet Porter, go into her room to comfort her. William gets a call and tells Annette and Sherry that they need to leave immediately. An emergency siren then goes off all across the city. After Chris leaves, Claire sees a neighbor woman and her son looking sickly. The woman writes itchy. Tasty and blood before Claire goes over to check on the boy. The woman then bursts in through the glass door and attacks Claire, but she knocks her off and flees on a motorcycle. She rides until William almost hits her. Claire recognizes him from when he attempted to have her removed from the orphanage for meddling in his affairs. At the police station, Chief Brian Irons, Donald Logue, gathers the main team of cops together to inform them that they haven't heard back from Dooley and Marini since they went to the mansion, so he sends them to go find the two cops. Leon is forced to stay at the front desk. Meanwhile, Wesker receives a message on his beeper to go to his locker. There, he finds a palm pilot with a message from his secret employers telling him that Raccoon City will be destroyed by the morning. The trucker has now become fully infected and drives the truck until it rolls over in front of the police station, exploding into a huge fireball that Leon misses because he passed out with his headphones on. The trucker walks in, completely engulfed in flames, but Irons shoots him dead. He has Leon extinguish the dead trucker and close the gates to the station before Irons heads outside by himself. The Stars agents arrive at the mansion and are joined by Chris, with Vickers staying behind in the chopper while the other three make their way in. They find Dooley and Marini's van overturned, as well as an infected crow that Jill shoots to bits. The team enters the mansion to find it looking ruined. Irons drives into town and sees armed guards keeping people they away. They begin to open fire on a pair of infected civilians, forcing Irons to drive away to safety. He goes back to the station and enters the parking garage, where he is found by two infected dogs. Irons shoots one, but runs out of bullets before the other one goes for him. Claire shows up in the nick of time to shoot the dog dead. Leon comes in and shows the two that the infected are trying to break through the gate. In the mansion, Chris and Aiken find an infected man biting into Marini's neck. They are found by more infected 
with Aiken getting killed by them as Chris tries to fight them off. Elsewhere, Jill and Wesker find a secret entrance to an underground lab. Moments later, Vickers is killed by the infected, and the chopper crashes into the mansion, but Jill and Wesker are unharmed. He then comes clean to Jill about working for someone else to steal William's G-Virus from the lab in the mansion before eventually fleeing the city before it gets obliterated. Wesker abandons Jill to finish his mission. Claire and Leon arm themselves, while Leon goes down to the cell, where he finds Ben locked up. He tells Leon to let him go, and even threatens him by grabbing him and taking his gun, but Ben is killed by an infected man in the cell next to him, and Leon shoots the man dead. Claire comes in, and is upset to find Ben dead. To make matters worse, the infected managed to break through the gates, prompting the three to escape the station. Claire goes with Leon and Irons to the orphanage to hide out. There, they find the woman that Claire saw as a kid, her name being Lisa Trevor. They are found by a more mutated infected creature, a liquor, that attacks Claire and Leon. It kills Irons, but Lisa manages to jump onto the liquor and snap its neck. Lisa then gives Claire and Leon keys to the secret passage, and Lisa even calls Claire by her name. Claire and Leon find old footage of kids that William experimented on. Chris continues wandering the mansion before an infected Dooley and others go for him, but he reunites with Jill and they get to safety. She tells him about Wesker and that they need to leave the city. Wesker finds the lab, but the Birkins are already there. He orders William to hand over the G-Virus, but William grabs a gun and fires at Wesker prompting him to shoot William. He hands the gun to Annette, and Wesker also shoots her in the head in front of Sherry before the girl gets the gun and aims at Wesker. He is shot by Jill and seemingly dies from his wounds. Chris and Jill get Sherry out of there, unaware that William has injected himself with several vials of the virus, and he has begun mutating. William stalks Chris and Jill as he mutates into a hideous abomination. Claire and Leon find them, and Claire shoots William in the eye. They join Chris, Jill, and Sherry as they make their way out of the city on a train. However, William fully mutates into the monstrous nemesis and breaks into the train. The heroes shoot at him until Leon grabs a rocket launcher and blasts William to smithereens for good. The nuke then gets dropped onto Raccoon City. An update says that there are no survivors, but Claire, Chris, Jill, Leon, and Sherry all manage to exit the train tunnel into a new day. During the credits, Wesker wakes up in a body bag. He meets a woman named Ada Wong, Lily Gao, who gives him his dark sunglasses and offers him a chance to work with her. The Umbrella Corporation slowly poisons Raccoon City through their water supply, leading to an outbreak that turns the infected into bloodthirsty zombies. The estranged siblings Chris and Claire Redfield reunite when she returns to Raccoon City to find a contact of hers that informed her about the infection. Meanwhile, Chris's fellow officers, including Albert Wesker and Jill Valentine, head out to the Spencer Mansion to investigate the disappearance of two other officers. The officers find a horde of infected people that kill four of the cops, leaving Chris, Wesker, and Jill alive. Wesker turns out to be working for someone else to steal the G-Virus from the lab of William Birkin, and he is told the Traccoon City will be destroyed by the morning. Meanwhile, Claire teams up with rookie officer Leon S. Kennedy when they come upon the lab under the orphanage where she and Chris grew up in as kids. Wesker finds William in the lab with his family, and he shoots William's wife dead, and seemingly William himself before Jill shoots Wesker. She and Chris escape with William's daughter Sherry, but William has injected himself with the virus and begins mutating into a grotesque monster. Claire and Leon team up with them as they make their way out of the city. Leon blasts William to pieces just as the city gets nuked. The five survivors make their way out to an unknown location, while Wesker is alive and employed by Ada Wong.